It's also remembered as Sea Sunday. As this is a seaside town, it seems particularly appropriate that we remember all those who work to take them to sea, whether in a voluntary or paid capacity. Our thoughts surrounding the sea go back to before Christ's time. And Psalm 107 is often thought of as the Mariner's Psalm. It was probably written between the 15th and 13th century before Christ.
The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Job. Uh, we start at chapter 4, verse 1, and then we move to chapter 5, verses 6 to the end. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered, If one ventures a word with you, will you be offended? But who can keep on speaking? <clears throat> For misery does not come from the earth, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. But human beings are born to trouble just as sparks fly upward. As for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause. He does great things and unsearchable, marvellous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands achieve no success. He takes the wise in their own craftiness, and the schemes of the wily are brought to a quick end. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grow for noonday as in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword of their mouth, from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope, and injustice shuts its mouth. How happy is the one whom God reproves! Therefore do not despise the discipline of the Almighty, for he wounds, but he binds up, he strikes, but his hands heal. He will deliver you from six troubles, with seven no harm shall touch you. In famine he will redeem you from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. At destruction and famine you shall laugh, and shall not fear the wild animals of the earth. For you shall be in league with the stones of the field, and the wild animals shall be at peace with you. You shall know that your tent is safe, you shall inspect your foe and miss nothing. You shall know that your descendants will be many, and your offspring like the grass of the earth. You shall come to your grave in ripe old age, as a shock of grain comes up to the threshing floor in its season. See, we have searched this out, it is true. Hear and know it for yourself. Here ends the first reading.
So let us firm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, God Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he was in heaven. Thank you. 
mercy give them thus awful perils and dangers of this night. O Lord, thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, Saviour and Prince of Peace, still us, O Lord, as you still the storm. Calm us, O Lord, and keep us from harm. Let all the troubles within us cease. Enfold us, Lord, in your deep peace. Amen. We give you thanks for the endurance of the church, for all unafraid of death as they look to the resurrection. We pray for Christians witnessing amid afflictions, hardships and calamities, for all who are being persecuted for their faith, for those who have suffered beatings, imprisonment or scorn. For all who witnessed your love in difficult places, Lord, bless your people. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Lord of the earth and sea, protector of all who work upon the seas, all fishermen and seafaring peoples, we pray for the Royal Navy and for the Merchant Navy. For those who volunteer on the lifeboats or work on the oil rigs. We pray for all those whose lives are endangered by storm and flood. Lord, bless your people. Lord, in your mercy. We give thanks for all who provide our food, all who protect us and shield us from harm. We pray today for our own homes and loved ones. And we remember any who have recently lost their homes or their livelihood. Lord, bless your people. Lord, 
in your mercy. Lord of all power, be with all who are being overwhelmed. Protect all who are in the storms of life, all who are facing hardship and danger, all who are having sleepless nights, all exhausted and hungry peoples. We pray for the fearful and the anxious, and the storm-tossed may they, may they know your peace. Lord, bless your people. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We give thanks for all those who have passed through life's storms and are now at peace in your presence. We pray for loved ones departed. Lord, bless your people. Lord, in your mercy hear us. Accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. 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 